Excuse me. Will's going to present now, please. So <laughs> we could just give him the floor. So um, I'm, I'm going to present. Uh, so kind of the first thing was I was going to present on uh, my quad trip that I did over New Year's this last year. But uh, that kind of ended up turning into being a trip with the government shutdown and a, a bunch of permit issues and people getting sick and stuff. So instead of uh, kind of doing doing that trip, I'm just going to kind of go over uh, kind of some of my photography I've done over the past few years. So. Um, I'll come back and talk about uh, this photo a little bit later. So um, I got my start actually here at Lewis and Clark Caverns. I, uh, that is actually on the right, my uh, very first uh, photo that I ever took in a cave here up in the snow room um, back in, uh, it was a 2016 AGM. And um, so kind of Lewis and Clark kind of holds a special place in my heart for getting my photography stuff started. And um, so I also do some work in the Yellowstone research there as well. And I uh, grew up in Denver, but really started cave, my caving out here. Um, this was actually my first, first cave down there. That, um, I would say my first wild cave I ever did. Uh, that's the uh, Elkhorn Mountain Cave in West Virginia. Uh, my friend uh, Ryan Marr, um, he came in, or I met him in Yellowstone through the guys' stuff. And he's the one that kind of got me interested in caving and so on and so forth. And, uh, so, kind of got my beginnings here in Montana, so uh, these are some, some of my first ones. Uh, right one's over in Bighorn in the cloak room. Uh, top left in Lick Creek, and the bottom left is uh, Monarch Grade. So, uh, kind of really fun, kind of some of my, what I like doing for photography, what draws me to it is sometimes it's, it's a puzzle figuring out how to light something. It's, you, know, you may see something really pretty, but you'll be like, I have no idea how to light this or, or whatnot, or it's just impossible to. Um, so, you know, like the one on the right, there's actually only one light source on that, and it's actually behind the person. So it's kind of fun to use a few tricks or whatnot to mold that light to get around. So, kind of, this was a big photography trip. Um, we were down in, this was, uh, over New Year's 2016, 2017, and 10-day, um, about 10-day expedition working with Carlsbad Caverns National Park, volunteering there. So um, these are various caves there. The top right is a Lake Cave, and then same with the left. The bottom right is a Wen Cave. Um, kind of really nice to go caving down there when it's winter up here and. Like, oh, shorts, or almost like shorts, t-shirt, caving in winter. Yeah, that, that's nice. So, um, so still it's winter in the quad, so you can still, you can still get some cold weather outside, though. Um, so when, these ones are uh, from Slaughter Canyon Cave, from that same expedition. Um, I don't, I'm not too fond of the photo on the right, but it, that one's kind of a special place for me. Because uh, still, Mike kind of like this, that, or both Mikes, I just bought a box off of uh, Mike McKeachin today, but uh, we, or we still use the old flash bulbs. So the one time use, um, you put them in a device called Tiltamite, and you fire them off, and they can be really, really finicky, and sometimes those photos will take like 30 minutes. Cause One's will, one person will work, the other person doesn't, and then they'll flip. And one, and it's like, okay, can we get them both to work for the same shot? So that, that photo on the right was the first time that I myself had ever used flash bulbs. So that, that photo kind of, to me, kind of holds a special place in my heart for that. And then also kind of the one on the left there, um, Ryan, my friend that got me involved, he's, he's a great photographer himself. Um, I always remember that photo because he was helping me with that one. Um, I was actually set up to the kind of the right off the image, kind of looking here on that. And Ryan, Ryan kind of told me, like, hey, no, actually, why don't you come down to where I actually took this photo? Everyone takes a photo straight on. Nobody really takes a photo from the side, but yet you still have a pretty darn good photo. 
And so it kind of it's really been nice to have him as a mentor and kind of make me think about you know certain photography and doing the research of you know what's already been been taken in there so you can take something slightly different and um, create create a different viewpoint and also just kind of that one was working through bulbs and he was helping me like I'm like oh this is too bright this is too bright and he's like well if you do this you know change this setting and then change change this on that you'll even yourself out. So it, it's been very helpful to have him as, as a mentor to kind of get myself going. So here, I did a trip, when when I visited a friend out in Portland for spring break one year, and uh, then we were like, oh, let's, let's, go, let's go get on the ground. So um, basically right across the border into uh, Washington, kind of around Mount St. Helens, they have uh, lava tubes and stuff. So, uh, we decided to go up there one day and, and have, have some fun. So um, on the left, that is called the meatball in in Ape Cave. So um, yeah, that, that, that one was a, a fun one to, to take. And then um, the one on the right, kind of always thinking about lava tubes, you don't really have formations. So it, it's just kind of a lot of general passage shots. and. In there, try try to kind of use my digital strobes and stuff, and it's just like, oh god, the basalt and all that stuff, or the dark rock, oh that eats that eats your light up so fast. It's like, okay, time to break out the flash bulbs, and I think it went through like almost. <laughs> Nalgene bottles are really good for transporting them, so it's like I ended up going through like a whole Nalgene bottle of flash bulbs that day because like every single photo required them. So then, then kind of 2017, that was kind of a, a big photo year for me. I was able to get on, kind of get out and go on a decent number of trips that summer. Um, top left, carpet room in Horse Thief. Um, top right, uh, Bighorn uh, along the K line there uh, with all the gypsum. Can't remember if it's in the same down the hole as Pete's mustache. I always forget which one, which little down climb is what. There's one on his everlasting project of getting money out of Crystal Pool. One is one in here. Oh, he's not. And then uh, the right is uh, the Gizzard um, over on the Z line in Big Horn. So um, want to get back into the carpet room and reshoot shoot that one. Um, want to push down the flash bulb because I want that one brighter. But that's kind of always the thing that's um, with the digital. Talking with Mike last night, it's like, oh yeah, we you had to wait until you get get your uh, you know film back from the developer. It's like we we didn't know what we were shooting, and, and it's something that you know thinking about it, we take for granted today. That oh, right on the back of the camera, we need to fix this. So it, it some of that is is really nice, especially like kind of taking the the shot on the right where it's like um, I believe Carl was holding the light behind, and it's like uh, move. Move slightly, please. Move slightly, and you know you just have to get it to like that right, like one inch square positioning to be able to get the image. Um, and then let's see here. This was this is in tag, so I believe this was August of 2017. Okay. So um, this was a trip that Ryan was like, "Hey, you need to come down to tag, and we need to get you into some of the some of the caves down there." And um, it was really fun. I want to get down there again. Um, so the bottom right is, or the two right images are from Tennessee, or wait, Tennessee Cedar Ridge Crystal Cave, I think, or something like that. Um, they just, big long abbreviation most of the, most of the time for them. Um, so it, it was really fun, and kind of my, one of, one of the fun things on there is like, um, that was the first cave of that trip, and Ryan was like, I'm not telling you what, what cave we're going into first. It's going to be a surprise. I won't even show you a picture of the entrance, because you'll probably be able to find it like on my Facebook and figure out what cave it is and all this stuff. So we get in there, and he's like, oh, um, so, like, Biddix has taken this um, photo. I've taken that photo. I've, you know, um, McCarthy has taken this photo. And, Kind of going around the cave. I'm like, okay, what? Where? Where is a photo that somebody hasn't taken? What? What angle has somebody not taken? He's like, 
maybe somewhere up here, it's like, okay, I'll take it. But uh, yeah, it, it was, that was kind of a, it was very beautiful. Uh, it, was, it was a small cave, but oh my god, you, you, walk, you walk into it and it's just go through the gate and it's just like, oh my god, it, it's pretty pretty. There's pretty stuff everywhere. Um, the, the photo on, on the right, that one was kind of a pain. Luckily, we had a, a nice little ledge right behind there that we could set a strobe on. Uh, the one on the left, that is Never Sink Pit in uh, Alabama. That one, that one is a very beautiful one. Um, it's just a 160 foot pit. If you have a chance to go there, get get the permit from the SCCI and and go there. And if you, um, I didn't take any photos for uh, the previous night of this photo. We went there, and um, there's glowworms in in that cave. And um, it's I believe it's only a certain time of year. And so you go down, um, and then basically you turn off your headlamps, sit down there in the dark for maybe a few minutes, and you start seeing them. And they're kind of uh, you know greenish blue, and um, that was, that was an amazing experience to be down there and, and kind of see those glowworms and stuff. And um, also just then that night, it, well, climbing up the rope, you could feel the thunder in, in the rope from the approaching storm. And um, then it just poured overnight. We got special permission to camp at the trailhead. And so the next day, we had kind of all the nice waterfalls coming into the pit on the back and um, just even the top down. Even if you don't don't bounce it, it, it was just like this is beautiful. Especially from they had gone a lot of rain of recent, so everything was really nice and green. And then come back. This is basically all mostly around the time of Cape Camp and stuff. Uh, right one, right one's a Lick Creek um, that was during the cleanup. Also, the top one is the Cathedral Room, and then uh, Car Carlin. Kind of his Lost Creek and Siphon project that's West Boulder and coming back out of the coffin crawl, kind of searching to maybe find a little bit better way, but alas, it, it didn't go. Um, so ho hopefully, Carl can get back there, maybe see if he can push it more. <laughs> You're like in hell now. And so then, then kind of did some stuff over, over that winter. Um, that was kind of a fun winter. Carl and I, like, over that winter, we were like, oh, hey, let's just go do, let's, let's go do something. Like, either a snowshoe, shoe to something, or luckily, I don't think, we don't think we had that much snow that year. But, so that was kind of fun. Um, we really like the one on the left. Um, that's uh, Woodward's. Um, I remember for that one, I get, I went down first, and I'm at the very bottom of the pit, and I kind of saw that, and I was like, oh, wait. Like, don't come down, Carl, like, real quick, because he could have knocked a rock down or something on me. Like, let me tuck myself over into this, like, little space before you come down um, to get this photo. And I, I think he did knock down a rock by, by me on that one, but it just went, like, boom, like, right in front of me. It was just like, oh, okay, be part of the wall. Um, top center, that is Montanaopolis Cave. So, um, Carl and I were kind of joking that we, we made that cave look a lot better than what it was. Uh, like kind of the whole thing's kind of a rat midden and when we uh, hiked up there, there was a, a nice uh, bear dropping that looked kind of fresh right out in front uh, of, the, of this like 70 foot long cave. So of course I sent Carl in first. Um, oh yeah. And, and then on the right, that is a pearl cave. Um, some of the tiny crystal formation on the wall to, to Carl's right on that photo. Um, and then Renee coming out of Granite Mountain after a uh, cave camp. And then Lewis and Clark uh, did some photos of candlelight. So I'll see if kind of getting out of time here. So I'll, I'll kind of breeze by that. That was really fun to do. do. Uh, this is kind of my favorite photo because I, I did get an honorable mention at uh, NSS, uh, the photo salon this last year. So um, that, that was a very, it was very fun to work with the candlelight stuff. Um, and, and this one was kind of the image that I'm kind of really happy that I was able to get and, and, and end up working pretty quick. Went back, did another kind of lava tube trip there, and then um, kind of like to put it on the right. Then this was uh, last summer, uh, did Garrity, want to try to get back there. Hopefully it's not snowed in until like August this year. 
um, top right pearl, bottom right's over. Um, and then I think, and then one last thing for this. So this is our last photos from our last quad trip. The, the two photos on the left are actually, it's a, it's a mine tailing pile that's about like that two stories thick. This cave then ended up being washed out in it and all that is actually salt. And after it rains, stuff will fall off and then regrow. So oh, it's like different every single time you go back. And I believe that's it. Yeah, that's it. But yeah, that was a really cool thing to go to that man-made cave, basically. <laughs>